Hey guys, my name's Jonah Bottle, and today I wasn't really planning on doing anything today, but then I tried to put a big full piece of um, wood in my 75 gallon fish tank, and now I suddenly want to work on stuff just because um, I don't know. So I, I don't really have a plan necessarily for this video, I'm just going to do a bunch of stuff. I got a guppy for the first time, I've never had a guppy before, I rescued it. I um, will set up my first bare bottom tank because I should have done that originally and I'm going to be working on the 75 gallon like I said so yeah. Okay first thing on the to do list as it is called is to get the guppy out of this 20 gallon. Now um, let's do a little bit of explaining why I have a 20 gallon in my um, animal room now is because my 10 gallon started leaking. Now the reason my 10 gallon started leaking is because I had to move it sideways on my iguana's cage, which my iguana's cage is so wide that I can put 10 gallons sideways on it. Um, which as my friend says, when you start putting your tanks um, sideways is when you know you have too many tanks in your room. Anyway, the reason I was <clears throat> Moving it is because I had to put a 30 gallon in my room and to put the 30 gallon in my room I had to do it you move a 10 gallon terrarium right over here, so Basically now the 20 the 10 This is all a mess and I, I Don't know where I'm going with this anyway the 10 gallon is now inside of a 20 gallon because I figured if I covered the outside of the 10 gallon with water then it wouldn't leak anymore. I was right. And I'm gonna figure out what happened to 10 gallon today. But real quick, I gotta get the guppy and I gotta, I gotta put the guppy into the 55 gallon. Now it was, um, I say rescued. Somebody didn't want it in another guppy, but the other guppy had already been, was already taken by the time we got there, I guess. I don't know who came and only got one guppy, but whatevs. Um, so here it is, it's really small, uh, I think. I, I assume it's a male because it's really pretty and smaller. And I'll be adding it to the 55 gallon community tank and hopefully someday I'll get another guppy or a few other guppies um, for free and I'll be able to, uh, they'll be able to breed. So now I just gotta catch it out, which should be pretty hard because it's obviously in between two tanks right now, so. This won't be the easiest fish catch. I got it. And now, as you just saw, I just got this baggie um, of this water. And now I'll be adding it to, so this is basically its quarantine tank that basically, it was fine for like a week or so just from the dilution of not, it doesn't, it doesn't, there's not a filter on the outside but there is in there. I don't know. It was fine. So now I'll be letting it uh, temperature acclimate. Actually, it should be around the same temperature until I get to the uh, working on the 55 gallon. Now, like I had said, I'm putting a very big piece of wood that I got from the stream by my house. Um, when I say by my house, I mean like a few miles down the road. Uh, I'm putting it into this 75 gallon and to do that I had to take out two smaller pieces of wood that I had in there and then I left the really big one in and I had to kind of hold the bottom down okay, with rocks so but it ended up working reason, really well. Because I'm dumb or something. I don't know. I So when I put the cory catfish in the 10 gallon tank my thought process was that the cory catfish I, they'd never bred before until um, you know recently so I was like it's gonna take them forever to breed again. I was completely wrong. Like a week later, we had more eggs. Then they ate them. Um, what, they laid like twi twice, two times more, and by um, the, what, that would be the third time, I took the cory catfish out and I hatched the eggs, and they all hatched, and I've seen baby fish in here twice. I've seen one that's kind of bigger. So, um, I should have listened to the thing that I, I hadn't done research until after I'd set up the tank. Let's keep that in mind. So now 
what I'm going to be doing is very slowly, one by one, I'm going to take out all the rocks out of here. And then, well, I'm going to first, I'm going to drain the outside water. Then I'm gonna, I'll be taking out everything out of the outside. Um, then I'm going to, one by one, take out all these rocks and then just drain this water into, drain the water from the 10 gallon. As you can see, there's a tank inside of a tank here into the 20 gallon and I'll probably just float the plants. I'll have the two pieces of wood, one big rock, the filter, the heater, and that's it. Um, that's pretty much the plan. And as I see the fish, I'll try to scoop them out and put them into some kind of holding thing till the end. The problem is there's also substrate down here that's growing these plants. So that's a problem because that'll make it really dirty. So we'll, we'll see what I can do exactly, but We'll see what I can do. Um, this should be interesting. I start draining it, and as I'm draining it, plans kind of change when I see the fish. There he is, right there. Oh shoot. Um, sorry, I was listening to Camp Cannon. You guys do not even know, there he is. I gotta catch him out and put him in this temporary, I have like a cage. Look at how tiny it is. It's so adorable, I can't even right now. Oh my gosh, that is so adorable. Um, again, like I said, I can't even. That is so crazy small. I don't wanna hurt it. Um, I'm gonna figure something out. Change of plans, I'm actually gonna leave this. The reason I wanted to move it is because I wanted to put them in the 20 gallon and then put that frog, I have a frog over here that I, um, bit of a story I rescued it it only has one eye like it must have been injured in some way and it's really malnourished and it was super cold outside so I'm trying to get it to eat but it won't eat doobie roaches so I think I'm gonna have to go with worms but I think what I'm gonna do is I'll just leave these guys in here and they seem to be doing fine I just saw three I haven't I've seen I've seen the fish twice before and then I just look in and there's three of them in here that I, I can see one back by the plant. It's really, you know, white. Obviously, they're, all, they're albino, just like their parents. But there was two over here by the filter. Um, but I just talked to my dad, and he was like, you should probably just, you know, leave them and let them grow. And that's what I'll do. And there's little microorganisms. No idea how they got in here. They just showed up one day, like right after I took out the, the bigger fish. They just showed up, and... I'm fine with that because I'm pretty sure they'll eat those microorganisms and then I will uh, feed this tank every once in a while, but not like a ton. And then there's snails in here as well, as you can see. And I recently, I took this piece of wood there out of there this morning, or earlier today when I was working on that, and I just threw it in here. But what I'm going to do, is you can just see it right there. Oh my gosh, it's, it's eating. You can see it back there just back there eating it is so adorable oh my gosh anyway um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna keep draining this out i'm gonna put new water in there and then i'm gonna put my frog in there and um i'll probably just put these two things back to be honest and i'll clean back there what i'm worried about with this is the frog will get stuck in between like in between here uh, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem so yeah, there's just the fish. That's so cool. Now I'm filling up the area, getting it ready for the frog, putting in a piece of wood and stuff so it can um, rest on something. Hopefully it will not be able to jump out. That would probably not be a good thing. And now I'm catching out the frog, which is kind of hard because it was behind the uh, wood structure in that other tank. I also worked a little bit on the... Uh, 30 gallon tank but I put that into that tank's video because I haven't edited it yet because tomorrow I will be putting it into the school and I want that to be part of the video so now I'm just fixing fixing some plants that um were floating around and I put the guppy in obviously kind of cleaned up the tank a little bit and um at the very end I fed the fish hey guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did like it down below if you have any comments or concerns put in the comments below and if you're my content, then subscribe. Have a fantastic day. And I will hopefully see you guys in the next video. Peace.